today. From NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's a special New Year's Day edition of the NFL on EA Sports. It's the Houston Texans taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. We are pleased as always to be bringing you coverage of the National Football League on EA Sports. Today, it's a good matchup in the AFC South between the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Houston Texans. come out throwing here to start the drive. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. This is caught inside the 15. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. Well, far, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. He'll drop to throw. Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. An 11-yard touchdown. And the Texans are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. Week after week, Charles, when we see this offense operate, I don't know, they just seem to get more... Play action here on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. A fight for it, and this is caught. What a catch. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks with his second touchdown in this opening quarter. Try and start this drive in the air. Cooks on the quick slant. Touchdown, Texans! Brandon Cooks with career touchdown number 128. He's now tied with Marvin Harrison for number nine on the all-time list as his guys have now moved out in front. I'll let you do the analysis, partner, but with every touchdown pass his young quarterback throws and with the success that his team has had, I just continue to be more and more impressed. Let's both do the analysis. Impressed, aren't we both? Yeah. I mean, it They'll come out throwing here on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown. Brandon Cooks on his way to a historic performance. Four first-half touchdowns. And the Texans are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. First down, he'll drop to throw. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Texans. Brandon Cook. 
Cooks. 33 yards. And the Texans take a three touchdown lead. And now, of course, all scoring plays are reviewed, and I think they're going to take an extra long look at this one. touchdown originally and this will stay a touchdown after the video review so they had it right now on first down he'll drop to throw it he's letting it fly for cooks it got his man complete. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. Now's the time. Don't give up nothing. So big pickup that time. And Charles, defending AFC Player of the Week, maybe bucking towards another award this week. Yeah, they say they don't really care about the individual awards. You and I both know they do. it means a lot to them. It means respect around the league. And if he's able to show those kind of hands all game long, he can win a second one. A little juke. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. From the four, it's second and a couple. Now back to throw. Open man is Cooks. He's got it. Touchdown, Texans. Four yards on the touchdown grab. And the Texans are able to add on to their first half lead. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. They'll look to throw here on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. He's got it. Hit the 15. A huge play there for Houston. 63 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. They'll set up to throw. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight-yard line. Second and goal. He'll look to throw. They'll run the screen with Mack. Touchdown, Texans! Marlon Mack with career touchdown number 70. And the Texans have taken a five-touchdown lead. Back to throw now on first down. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. They'll set up a throw. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. He'll look to throw. Being chased out left. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. And that is a historic run for our partner. Did that pick up? He just broke Lamar Jackson's 2019 record for most yards in a season by a quarterback. No one has done it better across a 16 or 17 game schedule. Now they will be forever linked with the best runners to ever play at that position. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. So, Charles, you know, for this offense, we've been talking all year about how difficult it would be to run the table. And you gave me your chances early in the year. You thought maybe 25%. A few weeks ago, you thought closer to 50, but not quite 50. Now here they are, 15-0. This is happening, isn't it? I think it is, Brandon, because I do believe this team is too invested, too well coached to fall asleep with the switch now. And I think it ultimately benefits them to stay engaged all 
all the way through the season because make it to the finish line, then they get the open week to refresh and re-energize. But if you get off the gas now, that can really hurt you come playoff time. And how about those instincts there, spinning out of the tackle, turning that into a gain of seven. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. So they'll come up after the gain of seven on a second and three. Back to throw. He dumps this off to Mack. Oh, a nifty juke there. Not much fun for a guy trying to tackle him. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars' 17-yard line. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got him the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. Throw over the middle, caught by Jordan. And he's brought down. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A chance to really cap off a big first half here as they come up on first and goal. They'll try and run it in with Janovich, the fullback. And he's in for the score. Touchdown, Texans. Andy Janovich, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Texans have taken a six-touchdown lead. And boy, that was a heavy set. I think they had three tight ends out there. The fullback, they just, you knew what they were going to do. Yeah, they weren't trying. They'll look to throw now on first down. He's letting it fly for Cooks. That's caught inside the 20. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 75 yards. And the Texans come right out of the locker room and score here in the opening minute of the third quarter. Well, partner, I mean, if anybody was still questioning whether or not he had an NFL caliber arm, I think you can toss that right out the window. That was a heck of a throw right there. I would agree totally. Question it no more. This rookie... Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And incomplete on the deep ball. This, the second meeting of these two teams, you might recall they met back in week five. And it was the visiting Texans who came away with a victory. So they'll look to take the season series if they can win here in Houston. On second down, here's a run with Mack. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Forced out to his left. A nice little juke. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Big yardage there on the scramble. It gets him a first down. They're going to look to throw. Able to slither by, and they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. The escapability in evidence there is that one good for 15 and a first. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw, eluding the pressure right. And he's in. Touchdown, Houston. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans just continue to roll. He continues to show at this level that he can not only... They'll look to throw. He's going to float this one deep right side. 
And this is caught at the 20. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. Well, partner, that's how you make a long drive suddenly not so long anymore. One big play, and they're already in field goal range with designs on getting more than that. This is caught. Touchdown. Marlon Mack with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Texans get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during the game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. to throw here flushed out right they juked him and another juke and they're able to get this one across the 35 able to make something out of nothing there 17 yards and a first down and cue the applause and there it is for him the mark he's been aiming for all season long 1,000 yards just a third quarterback to reach that milestone joining Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick that's a season's worth of work and a huge commitment to get him the touches that he needed to make that happen. Congratulations. Now a leaping catch. He's got it. And they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll drop to throw. Finds his man. It's John Mechie. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. A nice gain of 21 yards. They'll look to throw here. Flush to his right. A beautiful fake. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Able to find a lot of empty space there, picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. They'll run here with Mack. And he'll take this one in for a Texans touchdown. Marlon Mack, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Texans have got it on cruise control. Boy, another score. This lead gets even bigger. And Charles, we haven't even hit the fourth quarter yet. Well, forget the deficit, right? They're really not going to cut into that end. Looking to throw. He's letting it fly for Cooks. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks, 75 yards. And the Texans are closing in on that 16-0 record as they add on to their lead. Yet another touchdown in what has just been a high-scoring affair, a fun one to watch, and it's the rookie quarterback, Charles, coming through with yet another touchdown pass to pad the lead. Did we come into this game where defense was optional? Because it certainly feels that way, right? But when you look at the scoreboard... Starting the drive with a give to Mack. And he's got room. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll go again here with Mack. They give him about four on the play, but he's marked short, so it'll be third and about the length of the football. And that's caught in 
inside the 30. Well, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Touchdown, Texans! Emmanuel Sanders with a lucky number 13 touchdowns now on the year. And the Texans continue to run up the score. time to his left. It's caught downfield by Mechie. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. He'll fire one in zone for Cooks. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Brandon Cooks. 38 yards. And the Texans extend their lead yet again. Another touchdown through the air for them and for this rookie quarterback at the helm. He has put them in a great position, Charles, to get the victory in this one. He's absolutely taken charge. Every touchdown for them has come via his arm. Zero rushing touchdowns, no special teams, no defensive scores. man the tight end Jarwin and he takes it down to the 10 yard line that one good for 17 yards and now they've got it first and goal they'll run it out of the gun with Mac and from the nine they get this to the five yard line well they made the play there and I'll guarantee you their coaches and the other players are screaming at them about their pride Come on, guys. He's already gotten in three times. You can't give up a fourth one. And on that play, they were able to make the stop. And you knew they were going to go to him to try to get that fourth. And why wouldn't that? It's not just getting the fourth. He's the hot hand, so to speak, right? The hot feet in this situation. And he knows how to find the end zone. That time, he just didn't get there. His path became similar to almost running a stretch play, didn't it? Trying to find a crease, anywhere to put his foot in the ground and cut back. It just never materialized. Mac. Touchdown, Houston. Just power football there down near the goal line. Give it to him. He's able to push his way across. Yeah, they went heavy there. Sometimes you have those big offensive linemen come in have to report like they're eligible. But all they're doing is getting a good stance. remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. So the big play moves them all the way across. Field to the 40 now for first and 10. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And give him another six. It's caught for a touchdown. And the blowout continues. Well, business as usual. 
unusual for them, well on their way to another victory. Riding a serious wave of momentum from what we've seen. And so far, they haven't met their match. So if you're going to play this team in the future, your mission is clear. You better be ready to play and match their firepower. like he'll throw here he's gonna let it go again and this will be caught and the carnage continues it's another touchdown another touchdown here in the fourth quarter and Charles I think we can start to consider that this undefeated streak of theirs is going to be safe for another week and partner you don't make it this far into a season without a loss unless you're getting contributions from both sides of the ball and sometimes even your special teams and that's been true today each side helping guys This was a fun one today if you like points. A lot of them went on the board. Both offenses were clicking. Charles, these defenses, meanwhile, have a little something to clean up before their next contest. Yeah, neither end zone had a stop sign in it, did they? I mean, for both sides, visited and with frequency. Not fun to be a defensive player, but on the offensive side of the ball, those guys had a blast. One team came away with a victory, even better for them. So for the Texans, they're a win away now from running the table here the regular season. They moved to 16-0 on the year. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hard-working men and women on our crew.